welcome into Larry's Country Diner. Good food, good music. This is the place to be. You better believe it. Now here's a man, let me tell you this. He truly believes that fried chicken is a health food, but only when soaked in ketchup. Who eats ketchup with chicken? He does. Well, it, That's it, Larry. It, it balances out the uh, Oh, it, the, oh the it does? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right, I, I got one that. for you. Okay. If corn oil is made from corn, okay. and vegetable oil is made from vegetables, okay. what's baby oil made from? <laughs> 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 All right, this one's a red one. That doesn't mean I've already read it. It means it's, it's well, it's actually pink. This is a pink promise. <laughs> I'm sure the politicians are going to say something about that. They don't watch our show. Good. <laughs> Proverbs 22.4. By humility and fear of Lord are riches. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. I, when I read that, I thought, that's not B-U-Y. You don't buy humility. No. I have humility and I'm proud of it. Uh-huh. But I... When have you expressed this? What? Humility. I, I've never, have you ever seen no, it? No. I've never um, seen it. <laughs> are they turning against me? No, no, we wouldn't turn on you. you By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Proverbs 22, 4 and John 14, 27 says, Peace I, I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. It's one of my favorite verses right there. Yep. Boy, we've come through a period of fear. Everybody's bundling up and doing all this stuff. They're afraid of fear. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm afraid of? What are you afraid of? Dan Besi Miller. And, besides Dan Miller and, Renee. Dan Miller and Western music. <laughs> Why would I you am, be afraid of Dan I am Miller? so excited that you're here. We're so glad to be here, Larry Black. Man, I just... Is humility made from humans? Do what? Nothing. We're glad to be here. <laughs> we are glad to be here. You know, never knows. He's got some really pretty teeth. Did you know that? Well, one is... Oh. <laughs> are those real? Or? I'm going to get some gold on that one. How are you, Larry Black? I'm good. I brought your favorite person here. I know. Yeah. I was, you know, when, when Larry called me, he said, you know, you can come to this show... Mm -hmm. If Hannah comes. But if Hannah comes, you're yeah, out. You're yeah. out. You're going to get so it. So I had to double her pay. Just to, uh, <laughs> Can we get a song out of y'all? I would love to. We've, we've put together a little Western medley for you. Oh, good. Love it. We are thrilled that Ben is playing with us on this. He's, he's got his Taylor guitar over there. Only difference is uh, he can play his. But uh, <laughs> let's, uh, yeah, let's do this. Everybody ready? Two, two, a one, two. I want to be a cowboy sweetheart I want to learn to rope and ride I want to ride on the plains and the desert Out west of the great divide I want to hear the coyotes howling As the sun sets in the west I want to be a cowboy sweetheart The life I love the best Hear my song, so ride along, just a happy roving cowboy. Heard in the dark clouds out of the sky, keeping the heavens blue. Ain't got a dime, just spending my time, I'm just a happy roving cowgirl. Heard in the dark clouds out of the sky, keeping the heavens blue. I'm an old cow hand from the Rio Grande. My legs ain't bone and my cheeks ain't tan. I'm a cowboy who's never seen a cow, never rode to steer, cause I don't know how. And I sure ain't fixin' to start now. Yippee. 
cowboys know About the big corral where the doggies go Cause we learn them all on the radio Yippee-i-o kai Yippee-i-o kai Oh, give me land, lots of land under starry skies above Don't fence me in Let me ride through the wide open country that I love Don't fence me in Let me be by myself in the evening breeze Listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees Send me on forever but I ask you please Don't fence me in Just turn me loose Let me straddle my old saddle Underneath the western sky On my cayuse Let me wander over yonder Till I see the mountains rise I want to ride to the ridge Where the west commences Gaze at the moon Till I lose my senses Can't look at hobbles And I can't stand fences Don't fence me in I can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences Don't fence me in Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Good stuff. Give uh, that to yeah, Hannah, would you? There you oh, go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love coming to Larry's. <laughs> oh, that's not from Larry, that's from me. Oh! oh. Let's get out of here. We'll take a quick break. Well, I don't know. maybe it was from Larry. <laughs> At least half of it. We'll be back. More Larry's Country Diner on the way. And welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. Now, the person Hannah should cry when she walks in the room is, is coming up in just a minute. You know who that is. Oh, Here's yeah. Larry. Not me. No, no, no. it's. The one that's about to come in. And it's not Chicken Man. No, it's not Chicken Man. It's Nadine? It, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> chicken Man. Uh, Hannah. That's not your music, is it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. She comes peeking through the come door. Come on in, Gus. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? How y'all? Uh, How are you? I'm good. We're, uh, Keith's going to go get the door. Yeah, I'm going to go get the door. Hey, if you get, spend a little money and get somebody hey, to go hey, out hey, there and hey, fix hey, it. Hey, hey, don't get pushy. Watch me shake the How whole How y'all doing? <laughs> how's, how's Montana? Uh, it's not as good as Wyoming. Oh, that's well, that's where we're true. At, yeah. <laughs> Montana, that's you know they'll let anybody in. But Wyoming, it's a little more <laughs> picky. tough to get in there. Yeah. I, sure I, just, good to see I ride you. from Montana over to, yes, yes to, to Wyoming. Yeah. Boy, Y'all still doing your show too, huh? They yes. caught fire the other day. I mean, this past year, that when it started burning yes. over Robertson Draw. Yes. I thought it was going to come up and get your house. Yeah. Ooh. So, well, I uh, took some hot dogs and was going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Pop a little corn. Oh, you're bad. Yeah. <laughs> Can get a lot of them for 100 bucks. Yeah, that's my friend yeah. Dan Miller right there. And I was over here praying for it. <laughs> Save it. What's going on? Well, you know, my next door neighbor got on my nerves last night. He came home drunk. Uh-oh. Banged on his own door for forever, and he lives alone. <laughs> so, so Homer went out there and hollered at him and said, hey, he's not there. He's out of town. So he left, thank God. <laughs> Got some rest. <laughs> That's funny. And, you know, they were talking about, I was watching the news this morning. They had these guys on there our age, and they're bungee jumping and mountain climbing. And, I mean, I just feel really good when I can put my feet in my underwear without losing my balance. Absolutely. <laughs> Me too. I know. Well, I bet you do. I haven't tried your it's underwear in a while. It's hard putting underwear but... on with two canes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went in the bank yesterday, and Teller looked at me, and she said, your account's overdrawn. I said, well, so are your eyebrows, so here we are. <laughs> <laughs> now that's good. <laughs> I like yeah, it. that was. And if you're walking behind my car and the back lights, or the, the lights are on, it's between you and God. <laughs> I'm tired of people just hollering and honking and carrying on. 
You're supposed to have that beeper. They go beep, beep. Well, I don't have that. It's not on my car. When I, I had Jared, those. when Jared was younger, went to the uh, bank, and there was this rather rotund woman standing in front of us, and uh, he said, "Dad, <laughs> she's huge." And I said, "Well, sh just be quiet. She's, it's, it's okay." But Dad. She's really huge. About that time, her beeper went off. He said, look out, Dad, she's backing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> well, you know, um, I thought about you the other day. They said that people that drink black coffee mm -hmm. sometimes can show psychopathic traits. Ah. And, and another thing they said, you learn a lot on this show. Y'all need to take notes, really. You have to almost take notes on this show. But, um, and I'm going to have to read this word because I, okay. I can't do this. It says that people who order a quad shot non-fat vanilla soy extra foam light whip with caramel drizzle usually are their victims. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've never understood all of that. No. I haven't either. My daughter goes through Starbucks. I have been in the car with her when she pulled up and gave her order, and this is in Cool Springs, and there's a tons of people. She gives her order, and they'll say, come on around, Rhonda, we got it ready. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like they put 50 ingredients I know, in it. I know, and half of it I don't understand. Well, you want to really confuse them? Just pull up sometimes and say, I want a cup of coffee. <laughs> I want what? a big cup of coffee. Just well, you a want cup a grande or? <laughs> also, I don't know. The one that gets me is cold or hot. That one sprung them on me yesterday. Yeah, yeah, you tell them. You want it hot? And I'm going, what do you mean do I want my coffee hot? <laughs> it's iced or hot. That's what they Some mean. things ought to be hot and yeah. coffee's one of them. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go put the sign up. And what's it going to say? It's going to say, kindness costs nothing, but it's the most precious gift you can give somebody. Oh, right. wow. I got that written on my mirror. I'm reading it every day. You right. didn't come up with it because you don't think like that. I know. <laughs> I'm not the kindest person in the world. <laughs> I'm working on it. I say we get another song. I do too. Oh, yeah. Dan? Let's hear one. What y'all got for us? Let me ask you, what's your favorite television show? Uh, probably Andy Griffith. Gosh, I got Nadine? a bunch. Uh, no, it's just, not your, just, just, just your favorite. Rifleman. All right, I'm liking that. We're on a, we're on a roll kidding. here, Larry. I'm kidding. Gunsmoke. See, that's it. Renee, I'd have sworn you were going to say Fox News. What's yours? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's uh, what your tattoo says. Big Bang. <laughs> Big Bang. I don't know that I have a favorite. You must be on cable. <laughs> no, you don't have one? <laughs> no, I've. Uh, okay, Big this, Valley. This, this, Big Valley. Gunsmoke, Big Valley. Gunsmoke is my. Uh, favorite show. And Hannah, step up there, sweetheart. You make me uh, uh, look older. We, she loves Gunsmoke. There's 655 episodes of Gunsmoke. Wow. I don't know if you uh, care, seen them but all. there's 655 <laughs> episodes of Gunsmoke, and Matt Dillon never kissed Miss Kitty. I know. That's right. In 655. Well, not on camera, wow. anyway. No, no. And there was a, <laughs> uh, one episode with uh, Festus. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's on cable. Anyway, this song is about the kiss that never happened. And there's a, there's a part for Reese? you guys in this song. No, not for Reese. No. <laughs> uh, the old calf dropper. No, this is, a, this is a part for you. When it comes up, enthusiasm would be a, a surprise. Ready? Here we go. In dusty old Dodge City. Barbie called Miss Kitty, had it bad for the marshal. Matt Dillon was his name. I've seen every TV rerun. Every time I've seen one, it's the same. Leaves are waiting for that kiss that never came. He keeps waiting for the sundown when he'll lay his smoking gun down and swear to her his fighting days are through. But every morning, Mr. Dillon's off to chase another villain. Or Miss Kitty's wondering what to do. One day you're gonna wear out your welcome mat. You keep stepping on her like that. 
You know there ain't no way to treat your kitty cat You're wearing out your welcome <laughs> Well, that's just oh. the first verse, we'll just do that Doc and Chester say, don't let this one get away. Matthew, you ain't too quick on the draw. Go on, Marshall, treat her right. Tell her she can spend the night wrapped up in the long arms of the law. One day you're gonna wear out your welcome mat. You keep stepping on her like that. You know there ain't no way to treat your kitty cat. You're wearing out your welcome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Never mind. Matthew, I don't want to see the episode. Miss Kitty finally says it's time to hit the road. Everybody knows how much you'll miss her. Don't just stand there, man. Go ahead and kiss her. One day you're going to wear out your welcome, Matt. You keep stepping on her like that You know there ain't no way to treat your kitty cat You're wearing out your welcome Yeah! Yeah, you're wearing out your welcome She's sick and tired of waiting There's a million people watching You better think about your ratings You're wearing out your The Larry's Country Down. Dan, I was just noticing our special today. Boy, I'm going to have to try some of this. Dan Miller's Cowboy Review Barbecue Chicken made with Springer Mountain Farm Chicken, of course. Soaked in your own secret recipe. You're going to love it. It's reasonably priced here on the menu. However, for Larry, it will be $100 a serving. <laughs> There's Larry. <laughs> Let's get another song. Can I tell him how much you know about tack? <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell them about your horseback riding expertise that you oh, have? Oh, I want to hear this. Yes. Yeah, so Larry and I, we were there was a uh, they were sorting pairs, and so uh, his his brother-in-law Bill called me and said we we want to go to the ranch. It was at the Two Dot Ranch there in Wyoming, and Larry said, "I want to I want to ride. I want." And I said, "Well, okay." I got up at three in the morning, wrangled the horses, and and then uh, wrangled he and Bill. And we headed out, and my horse, Jackson, uh, drew the short straw, so he had Larry. <laughs> and uh, so we were, we were riding all day, all day, all day. And Larry actually is a pretty darn good rider. He, he really is. Did that sound believable? Anyway, Larry is a... Is a <laughs> well, I know no, he's not too much on four-wheelers, but no, he but, might be uh, okay on yeah, the horses, he was good. So I could see him way off in the oh, distance. Oh, boy. And, uh, and he's kind of... And the horses, it's... Nervous. So Larry hasn't, uh, this is tell, he hadn't peed all day. So he's watching the other horses, so it's power of suggestion. He has to go. So I see him way off, and uh, Larry hops off the horse and goes about his business, and my horse cuts for Tulsa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so Larry's out there, uh, got things in hand, and he and my horse is, is uh, running for the nearest trailer. So uh, we got him back together, got the, matter of fact, his brother-in-law Bill at the end of the day got off the horse and melted just like the witch in the Wizard of Oz. He, his legs were so shot. And my horse, the next day after that, uh, started smoking. Uh, it was, uh, what I tried to do when I tried to get on the horse, the hill was like that. Uh -huh. And I was down here trying to get up on the horse. Mm -hmm. And I tried and tried and tried. Yes. Somebody suggested either turn the horse around or you get on the high side. Yeah. It was the horse that said that. The, yeah. laws, of, the, the laws of physics yeah, were against you. Yeah. Right. Pointing back over his shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what his tack is right oh, there. Oh, boy. Yeah, it was a long way. Some, I, have, I have a video of that, strangely enough. Oh, I want to see I that. Put, well, I it's put an audio. the camera <laughs> into that little pouch uh -huh. and didn't turn it off. So what you hear is me, you hear the cows mooing, 
and you hear me going, come on, Jackson, come on. Don't go. All right, go that way. <laughs> Did you use any dirty words? No. Oh, good. But it's all recorded. No, it's all recorded. <laughs> and he keeps saying, whoa, whoa. Well, we don't have to stop. That's all right. <laughs> and, uh, let's go right. Well, left is good. Let's go to the yeah, left. That's right. A <laughs> little equine psychology yes, there. Uh, yeah. My horse still has that CD of that. So that's a good thing. Give us a song. We'll do that. We want to do uh, a song for our, our buddy Susie Boggess. I see Billy Dean up here behind us. We're heading to Tallahassee in a couple of days to do a concert down there. Susie and Kathy Matea are yep. now out, the girls. The, Great doing job. It. So they called two days ago and said, we want to come to Cody. And Susie came this summer, and we did a great concert with her. She's been a mentor of, uh, is that beeping? Is somebody backing up? Did you hear that? <laughs> anyway. Um, There's a woman at the back. Could be Nadine. Nadine's backing up. Nadine. Nadine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Susie's been kind of a mentor of Hannah's over the years. She's really supported her. And so the last time she came to our show, we had Hannah do Aces, which is Susie's big hit. Lord, she started crying, and, and didn't matter. We kept playing. And uh, so <laughs> Hannah is going to do Susie's Aces, for you right now. I love this song and, and uh, we love Susie and, and we talked to her yesterday so she's going to tune in and watch. So Hannah, little aces. Two, three,
Good stuff. <laughs> Going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Oh, Susie was proud of that. I guarantee you that was great. We've got more Larry's Country Diner coming up. Don't you dare go on. And welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. That right there, that's Larry. He owns this place. I got to tell you, Ann, I was in uh, um, Western Ranch Supply in Billings last week, and, and their product is everywhere. It, it, yeah. Yes, it is. It's everywhere. Down in Cody, where we are at, it's there. And, uh, but I was up in Western Ranch. I've just, I was down in Arizona. I like to go down in Rope and Team Rope, and I was just down there. Their stuff is all over down there as well. But Western Ranch had a great display of yours oh, there. Good, good to know. Yeah, Haven't good, been there in a while. I love stuff. Billings. Yeah. 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 They have it in Missouri, I, too. I always go to that one. In, is that what you're talking about in Billings? Yes. Yeah. 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 Wouldn't, uh, yeah, we're at Tartars everywhere. I always, yes. it's, it's a terrible joke, but it is a good joke. Wouldn't you hate to be an ex-boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> can't get away from it, yeah. You can't get away from me. <laughs> yeah, the only Tartar Nadine's familiar with it, she goes to the dentist to get rid of, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Dan and I have a... Uh, have an interesting background. We played racquetball a lot mm -hmm. when I was working at WSM doing mornings because I'd get off at nine o'clock yep. and uh, Dan never worked. So <laughs> <I> would, <laughs> we were talking today, Larry, Hannah's first time she came and did this with me. She was 12 years old wow. and uh, we were sitting at uh, uh, she made me go to the Cheesecake Factory <laughs> and uh, we were, I didn't want to, but we were there and it was one of the Tennessee tornadoes. I was just telling Ian and Jared about yeah. it. But we were sitting there and we went over to uh, Nashville. It's not there anymore. And we were looking at the television screen, screen and they said, wait a minute. That's that tornado's where right. Yeah. right. They said, get in the freezer with us. I said, I just met you. So we, <laughs> we, uh, um, uh, we ended up going back in, in the parking garage of our hotel, but it was a tornado that day that was uh, was something so, uh, but this Hannah, how many times have you done the show now? Six, five or six times. So, it's it's been a blessing for us. You get two or three hundred dollars every time you appear. Well, I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Larry, you heard her. Well, I want to tell you, Larry, we've been blessed to travel all over the country. Year before last, we we did thirty or so concerts from we crisscrossed Texas three times and down in. Uh, big, beautiful, beautiful theaters, triple balcony. And this next winter, we're, uh, we're doing 30 shows starting in Colorado, New Mexico, Kansas, Minnesota, Wisconsin. And, and uh, when we leave here, we're going to Indiana. It's called the Wagon Wheel Playhouse. We'll be there tomorrow doing a concert. And then we'll be in Tallahassee, Florida, uh, the day after that. And then Monday, we'll be firing our agent because that's a... That's a <laughs> We've been extremely blessed, and this show has been a big part of that. So we're we're Good. honored to be here with you. Well, I'm delighted to have you. I I was glad that we can make it work. Yeah, especially yeah Hannah. Hannah last yeah. gig. <laughs> and, and you know Hannah's graduating in April from her master's program in speech pathology. Wow. So she is uh, going to be in Dallas on what day? April. She, she graduates, and um, so from that little girl that came on here yep. and played fiddle with Crying. Jimmy Caps, and, and now she's gra graduating with her master's degree. And, and Wendy is a writer, as you know. She writes for Cowboy State Daily. She does television news for NBC in Billings, Montana, and uh, she's been with Hannah and I for 14 or 15 years, and, and we're just... And then, then there's Reese, and that's a whole other show. And then there's Reese. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's coming back. He's gained six pounds since we've been here eating chicken. Yeah. I'm going to need your short version. We'll do the short version. This song is called The Great American Cowboy, the short version. That's it right there. No, go ahead. <laughs> At the crack of dawn, putting those big boots on, pulling those calves, and the snow has left him tired. There's tension in the air as he thinks of the critters out there. Grazing's gone, the winter has hit him hard. Cowboy, great American cowboy, 
Big high boots, Stetson hat, and a leather vest. Cowboy, great American cowboy, with a horse and a rope and a gun he tamed the west. He's up at the crack of dawn, fitting those woolies on. The wind's so cold, the chills are running down his back. The cattle range is froze. Every little dog he knows He's an angel of mercy Mounted on a horse's back Cowboy Great American cowboy Big high boots Stetson hat and a leather vest Cowboy Great American cowboy With a horse and a rope And a gun he tamed the west He's a with the crack of dawn, he's cinching that saddle on. Storming hard and things are looking mighty grim. Big right ahead that day, chopping ice and feeding hay. He knows every critter's life depends on him. Him, cowboy, great American cowboy. Big high boots, Stetson hat, and the leather vest. Vest, cowboy. American cowboy with a horse and a rope and a gun he tamed the west with a horse and a rope and a gun he tamed the west with a horse and a rope and a gun Miller, Hannah, Wendy, thank you very much. Get us out of here. Great job. Now, I need your help. Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling, and we, we don't, don't care! care.